A time will come upon people when nothing from Islam will remain excepting for the name. وَلَا يَبَقَى مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ إِلَّا رَحْمُهُ And nothing from the glorious book of Allah, the Holy Quran will remain except in its writings. Investigating this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let us for our own selves be honest and ask ourselves, where is Islam in my life? Where is Islam in my home? In the life of my wife? In the life of my kids? Where is Islam in the precincts of my home? Nothing will remain of Islam, says Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, except its name. Where is the Islam that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam preached for 13 years in Mecca, went through the pelting of stones, the blood flowing from his body. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went through so much to bring this Islam home to you and I. This Islam that Sahabas lost their lives for. This Islam that once Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala and he says, Ya Rasulullah, what portion of Islam should we practice in our lives? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Kullun, 10 out of 10, everything. Because he says a time will come upon the people when they will only be asked to practice one tenth of what you are asked to practice. They will be asked to make amal of 1% of what you are asked to make amal upon. And it will become difficult for them. They won't be able to do it. We see where the ummah is today. We see the pits. We see the abyss. We see the trials and the tribulations. We see our downfall. We see our decline. We see where Islam was and where Islam is today. We are in a position where we can open our eyes and turn the pages of history and we will see how Islam began. But the Al Islam Gharib, it began in such a strange manner. It shall return in a strange way as well. Islam started and it started to flourish, it started to sweep through the Arabian Peninsula. It started to sweep through the world. Islam hit through Turkey, Istanbul, Espana, Spain. Islam hit through China, you name it. Every place Islam touched. For approximately 800 years, it ruled the land of Spain. Islam ruled the world. But where is Islam today? Islam ya'ala wa la yu'ala. Islam, it governs and dominates. It is not dominated. Today, the Muslims are hiding. We are afraid to show our identity as a believer. The book that we are reading, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, nothing will remain of that book except its writing. And you know, we boast and we brag about it. We have the best book. No doubts in this book. It is the only book of truth. Every other book has discrepancies and errors. Not so with the Quran. But how much of the Quran am I reading, firstly? How much am I implementing in my life? This is why the Hadith is stating, nothing will remain of this book except its writing. We compromise our deen for every other person except for the one who we have to submit and bow towards. Allah has made our deen straight. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught us how to live and how to die. He has showed us how we should operate as believers. But today we change the entire system of Islam into our own system. Today we do it as we want to do it, not how Allah says it has to be done. Today we become part and parcel in all these different activities where haram is taking place, where the laws of Allah is being broken. Where the, all these different infiltration is coming into our deen and all in it part of our deen. And we are proud to be part and parcel of those activities. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, 
fear Allah in regards to that less a time will come when Allah for himself will send a punishment on you that will destroy you completely you will beg Allah to take it away and Allah is not going to take it away